Welcome back to another video guys and in this video I will teach you about getting the total as the products are being listed in the live invoice. So to do that it's pretty simple. We have created a total label over here which is empty right now. There's no text which is self.total underscore L. We are going to configure that. Total configure self dot let's just paste this configure text is equals to total plus string of uh, okay first to get the total what we need to do is we need to get the sum of this product price so to get to get the sum within a list there is a method called sum so I think we need to import math here will work I guess otherwise so okay input math and we'll say sum of product price okay let's see rupees okay let's test this there's no error there we'll say two okay rupees sixty we'll say number three we'll say one Rupees 660. Okay, price is 600. So I thought there was some kind of mistake over there. 660, which is totally correct. Number 2, 10, we are going to buy 1, or let's say 4 to make it 700. So as you can see, it's, it keeps on updating, so which is quite good for us. And this keeps on generating. Now, what we need to do is we need to create this, I mean, make this work, the given amount. So for example, if I said, uh, okay, your, your, your bill is 700 and the customer gave me 1000, so you can easily calculate that it's 300, but if it's quite difficult um, math, then you can simply put in the uh, number, of the I mean the price they gave, for example, they gave you like 1500 and you calculate change and it will, so the change amount over here, so we will create that. And for that, we need a function and we need to see the button where is change button search button so it is in Ajax yes change label entry button so we will say command equals to self dot change is that a change okay change funk okay we'll create that function Define change funk self arguments keyboard arguments and okay we'll get the get the amount given given by the sorry, customer and the amount generated by the computer which is the total actually. So to get the amount given by the customer, which is uh, change e self dot amount given equals to integer, or we will use float to you know change e, and then we'll get the self dot uh, our total. We can just simply use sum of product price and self dot to give to self sorry sum. We need to convert this to a float since the elements in the list is already float. We don't need to do that. But anyways, if the, if, it, if it goes into some kind of error, then it's a backup plan. So to give is self dot amount given minus self dot our total so this is the value we need to append so we'll create a label change self dot c amount equals to label inside self dot left with text equals to change rupees plus a string of self dot to give font is 
emulating bold and we'll give it a foreground color of red self dot c amount dot place x equals to something y equals to something so x equals to change level 0 550 190 550 so it's going to be 550 190 then let's try 300 one will buy two of them 60 they give 100 so what is the problem here float must be a string or number not entry okay i know is the error here it's not self dot change it should be this we should get this get the value sorry one search two sixty they gave us hundred it's forty it is working we need to push it towards right so three hundred let's see six hundred push to extreme and uh, bg is going to be white okay one so we don't need to be worried about the stocks getting decreased because we haven't added that logic yet because we are going to do that at last so we can buy as many products as we like and it will never go out of stock change its weight was right decrease it to 400 this pinpointing thing is quite difficult we'll buy two of them 20 they give us 50 30 it's correct but we need to expand it a bit 500 10 search there is no such item with 10 3 I'll buy 20 of these 200 I get 500 changes 300 okay we can consider that or we can keep it below over here to the bottom level I think that would be great so bottom level is probably 600 yes sorry 600 and zero let's try this and we'll buy 10 of these add to cart they give us 1000 change amount is 700 general bill okay it's working perfectly so that's it for this video guys next video we'll discuss about how we can decrease this stock from the database to make it a real store and uh, we will talk about generating bill as well so thanks for watching stay tuned for my next video